What's going on, guys? I've got a new mic, so hopefully the audio sounds a hundred times better. And I think it's going to, honestly. I was looking at all the mics at Target, and it's funny. This is a little trick I have, but sometimes it's not about buying the most expensive thing. Since becoming rich, I lived most of my life poor, and then I've been rich for about two years now, where I have enough money to not even sweat about money. There's still levels that I have to climb, but just letting you guys know where I'm at in my journey. But as I've gotten more rich, I've realized, wait a second, a lot of this expensive shit I always fantasized about buying, it's bullshit. The cheap shit's the best. So look at this, the cheapest gaming headset out there. I just plug it into my laptop, let it sit right there. This mic is just the best mic in the game, I'm telling you. And it was only like 25 bucks, so let's go. Now I'm going to recap NFL here, and <laughs> oh my god, guys, it was fucking brutal yesterday we won we profited on college football we profited and in nfl we profited but the way that we missed out on like i'm talking about 60 fucking units yesterday guys damn and i'm betting big on these plays too i'm to the point where i have a lot of accounts a lot of money going into this probably a thousand dollars a play so a thousand to win ten thousand on each of these Dude, it's fucked. It's fucking insane what's going on. But look, Keenan Allen. This one was won. We were celebrating it. I never celebrate a play until it is over. And what happens? Zay Flowers runs a 40-yard run to score a touchdown, which then gives the Chargers the ball back, which then Keenan Allen hits his over. All the fucking great, all the Ravens had to do was get a first down and then take a knee, victory formation, get out of there. Uh, Tank Dell, 50 yard pass caught at the end of the first quarter, called back because of an illegal formation. Uh, rookie quarterback, I don't, I don't really know if it was rigged or what the deal was. He also had another catch where he missed his toe tap by a fucking centimeter. He may have gotten it in actually. It looked, you couldn't really tell. But they had to go with what the call was on the field. And the ref said that he was out of bounds. Tank Dell goes under, barely, and ruins this one. Now, another one, Stephon Diggs. How many drops did that guy have? He ends up with 74 yards on the day. We needed 76. And this one was 3 out of 4. All these were 3 out of 4 green. So what we ended up doing, even after getting shafted, Three separate times. We won two plays. We net 10 units of profit. Just for fun, real quick, let's see what we would have done had those three things gone our way. So if two of those things had gone our way, which they should have, we would have been up 50 units. If all three went our way, we would have been up 70 units. Okay? And I share this with you because I was sharing it with the chat last night. I was saying, you know what? The fact that we have had the worst luck of all time, the worst luck of all time, and we still profited, it, it gives me a lot of confidence finishing out this football season, okay? It gives me a ton of confidence to finish out the football season. And I need to update some of this stuff on the college football side, but what I wanted to show you guys, man, I updated this on my phone, and it's just it's all wonky. But what I wanted to show you guys was the Dolphins. Tua had 243 yards with two minutes left in the third quarter. He did not throw for one yard in the last 17 minutes of that game. I have never, I have never seen that. So this one would have hit. And I don't know if we had another one with Tua in it. But I think, it, I think we had a few. And I think he... I think he screwed us over several times. Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. But yeah, it's, it's actually crazy. This was a clutch win right here. This saved the day for us. So we ended up netting 19 units of profit over Friday and Saturday. It was like half the games were on Friday, half were on Saturday. It is what it is, though. I always recap my wins and losses, guys. I have a spreadsheet. I'm so good at this that I have gotten uh, limited on accounts where I can only put down $25 per play which I will do in this video for you guys. Well, maybe if it lets me log in. Okay, I'm logged in. And we'll look at this game here. Justin Fields, Joshua Dobbs. It's a pretty easy play. It's pretty straightforward for me. 
DJ Moore is Field's favorite target. The game is in Minnesota, so it's going to be indoors. Weather won't be a factor. And if you look at this Minnesota team, they've really been trending to the over all season. Now, you have two choices with Minnesota. You got Hawkinson and you got Addison. Hawkinson's been a monster all season, but especially when Dobbs has been under center. And Addison, I think Dobbs has given him a real upgrade here. So I would say what I would do here is I would go 25. You know what? Just to show you guys that are new here, my limits, it looks like this. So amount to win is 250. So the most I can win on a play is 250. That's just not right, man. That's not right. That's not enough. So I have 13 G's in there, and I'll withdraw it. And, uh, you know, that'll be a good day when I withdraw. But let's reuse these players. Switch out Addison for Hawkinson. And, and I think you can pick your poison here. I also know that this makes a really good six map. So let's see. Well, it just deleted everything on us. But let's see. This six man right here is lovely. I'm going to do Josh Dobbs, and then I'm going to do Fields. And then I'm going to do DJ Moore, and probably Cole Komet is who I like as that third guy in the, in the double stack for Chicago. Now, this is a solid play right here. Let's see if it lets me get down on this. 25 bucks. Hey, let me get it down. That doesn't make any sense. So it says my, my winning limit is... Huh. It says my winning limit is 250. So on a single pick is a thousand. Okay, so the most I can win on a player is a thousand dollars. It is what it is. There's three picks for you guys, all overs. So hopefully there's good offense. I think this is a good game to target the overs. And if you're gonna do a six man, I would do that on prize picks. If you're gonna do a four man, I would do it on prize picks. The reason I say that is because prize picks six man flex play pays 25x but then you have insurance if you go four out of six or five out of six which we have hit probably like five plays five out of six in the last week once we get that one six out of six it's going to change the game for us um but having that insurance is just so valuable whereas on better um you can get 30x on a six man but they don't have insurance if one of the players gets hurt and then if you go four out or five out of six correct you won't get paid which is fine, it's higher payouts, but to get 30X over 25 is not that big of an advantage. I'd rather do the flex play here. And then if you're going to do a five-man entry, I would do a five-man entry on better, where you can, what, what that would look like is you can do these five right here. So Justin Fields, DJ Moore, Dobbs, Hawkinson, Addison. I'm gonna play that on better. And I think my limit there is 75 bucks on a five-man which is you know much higher than on prize picks right now. So I'm gonna get down on that. If you guys need a better account, please use my affiliate link. I'm gonna put the affiliate link in the description of this video. It helps support me as a creator. I'm in a competition. I'm trying to be one of the top affiliates on better. And yeah, it just really helps support me. And I put in a lot of work into these videos, so it doesn't cost you anything to go through my affiliate link you actually get your first deposit doubled up to $500 there. Um, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys went to the description of this video and then click that link and then got uh, your better account set up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these five on better and it'll be a 20X. So if you put 20 bucks down, you get 100. And if you put 500 bucks into the app, you get 1,000 to play with. Now I would recommend if you had a $1,000 bankroll I would recommend doing $10 per play. On four mans, do $20. And then on five man, six man, seven man, eight man, do $10. Your money's gonna last a long time and you're gonna gradually build it up to two grand. Once you hit two grand, then I'd up your units to 20 bucks. So you're basically risking 1% of what's in your account and you'll never go bankrupt that way. That's how I built this account from three grand to 13,000. And I've built so many accounts up from like five grand to 15 grand. You can even go on YouTube and you can search Skywalker $15,000 two days. So it's this video right here with this guy on it with the sunglasses, that's Skywalker. 
he's an OG in the game. He's been doing what I do on this YouTube channel, but he's been doing it for like six or seven years. And he's, he's one of those guys that's just an honest guy. You can tell that he's genuine, never screws people over. And I helped him run an account up from two grand to 17 grand in two days. And in this video, it's a full length interview. So I'm just talking to him for about an hour and 15 minutes. And if you click that interview and listen to it, there's so much to learn there, so much value to unpack. And it really just proves my legitimacy because I helped this guy make 15 grand in two days and he was kind enough to come on and tell the story. So yeah, I mean, this is real guys. If you follow the system, you really just need to understand that the wins outweigh the losses. I mean, if you look at what we did this weekend, so much losing, so much red, and the the little bit of green that we had outweighed all of the red. And Georgia fucked us, but it is what it is. They won the game. They just didn't have to pass, and a lot of passes got called back. If Georgia wins, we're up massive. But it is what it is, right? And I don't know if I have the total there, but 1843, let's see. Yeah, so that was that was basically the whole week. And if you look, we are up 3920 bucks there. That's crazy, dude. Because we hit three plays. Bama, Tennessee, so Squirrel White. Squirrel, shout out to Squirrel White. He saved us. And also McMillan on Arizona, too. That guy's bowl game, take his over. I mean, he is he is a stud for us. I hope he's not graduating because that guy is a beast. So we ended up going up, what is that, 19 and a half units. So it looks like a lot, but my unit size has gotten pretty big. So it's, it's just 19 units, but 19 units in college football. And then in the NFL, 10 units. Should have been 70, should have been 70 units. But look, we are getting shafted. Like, we're getting no good luck, all bad luck. One of these weekends, we will get all good luck and no bad luck. Like, it always evens out, right? And it was just an unlucky weekend, but we still net just under 30 units of profit. So the system works, sticking to four-man, five-man, and six-man plays. You just have to understand, like, look, we're going to have a lot of losses. And the way that Sunday started, we had all our losses in the noon games, and people were panicking. Like, people were worried and i mean shit we're all worried i i didn't feel good about losing all those plays we had a couple plays like this one right here actually uh levis did go under but we had a couple plays where it was all red like this one went oh and four all four of these guys went over and there's there just a few plays where it was all red and a lot of people were questioning should we be taking this many unders and you know we ended up having a great day we had almost, we were a hair away from one of our best days, but you just have to understand the money management and understand the strategy. And I don't just want to get on here and give you guys picks and say, hey, this is what I'm betting on, follow it and win. Yeah, you will win if you just copy my plays, but I want to actually teach you guys to the point where if I rolled over and passed away, God forbid, right? But I'm just saying, if I got into a car wreck and I passed away, you guys would actually be able to provide for yourselves on these apps and make picks. And most people that sell picks would never do that because then why would you buy picks from me, right? But my mindset's just different. I, I obviously want to make a lot of money, but money does not determine my decisions in life. I really just do whatever I want. And I wanna help people. I wanna be remembered as a legend in this game. And I wanna be rem remembered as somebody who helped more people than anyone else. There are so many fake sports betting gurus in this game. And I just think there's serious opportunity for someone like me that is just completely obsessed with this. I have, you know, slight autism. And if you know anyone about, if you know anybody that has autism, they're the smartest people on the planet. It's crazy the superpower of autism. And someone like me where I guess it's not as severe on the spectrum, it's the perfect blend because I am capable of obsessing over this 24 seven, like legitimately for 15 hours a day, I can obsess over learning about betting and fantasy and players. And it's just great to just use my, my gift and my obsession towards something that can actually help so many other people make so much money. 
and I'm just fired up. I'm just thinking about my legacy a lot, thinking long term about the game. And, you know, in the short term, it's simple. We just got to keep winning. But long term, the strategies we use will always evolve and change as these apps change the rules of their games. So I'm just really excited. And I also wanted to say thank you guys for listening to me this far into the video. I know a lot of people just get the picks and leave. But you guys that are listening right now are my real supporters, my true supporters. And I want to give you guys a promo code to get a full month free of gold level VIP. Promo code is SBE30. SBE30 gets you 30 days of VIP for free. And it actually will give you 37 because if you do want to cancel, it'll, it gives you that week to cancel after the 30 days. So you sign up November 7th, it'll like, it'll auto charge you on like January 4th. It's only 15 bucks a month. So my hope is that you'll use this code, SBE30. You'll be so satisfied to make so much money, you just let that shit come out of your bank account each month. It's 15 bucks, it's 50 cents a day. And I think long term, I'm gonna offer that low, that low price, $15 a month. And I'm obviously gonna have to charge more for my best stuff. So like for my platinum level VIP, it's always gonna cost a little more just because I cannot afford to have 10,000 people on those plays. What happens is these apps will shut down so fast if we have 10,000 people on the plays. So I literally, that's why, even if I wanted to give it away for cheaper, I couldn't. But it is what it is. We have a cheap option, we have a more expensive option, we have two levels of VIP. And I think it's a good thing because a lot of people with smaller bankrolls can, I mean, you're getting a month free if, you, if you're listening to this point in the video. So that's in the link in the description. It's called Winnable but it's also titled gold level VIP. So just go to the description box and you'll see that. All right, that's all I've got for you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. We've got a lot of good content coming soon. I'm super excited about all the video ideas in my head. I just have to make them and hopefully the audio sound good. If you guys are watching this, I guess the audio came out all right. So let me know how the audio sounds and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.